wait. Kathleen Murray, who is unemployed, and Edward Chapman, who works at the Ice Cube Factory, are camping together. Complete strangers. It's like a new form of dating. More tents. I think we're charging people to come in here too, aren't we? We must be. Yeah, 10 bucks. 10 bucks a pop. To stay at Jurassic Park. That's incredible. Man, I don't even want to build a city anymore. I just want to make like a, a nature reserve. Somebody needs to like get on it. Somebody needs to make nature reserve simulator So that we can do that. That would be fun I'd be super up for that Oh no Okay, let's go for um, what are we gonna name this? Wilder's Park Oh shit, we don't want to make this a park. We want to make this... Does this... Oh, you can overlap. Oh, that's nice, actually. It's great that that happens. So it's still... It still maintains it as a park. Oh, that's really good. So the, the district painting doesn't affect, like, the park painting. That's nice. That's really good, actually. Okay, policies? Let's go for, um... Park maintenance boost. Prefer parks. Tourists in the area choose to visit parks more often than unique buildings, even. Wow. Um... Smoke detector distribution. There we go. That's the one we want. What about a smoking ban? We don't want to ban smoking, really, do we? Only if it saves on the amount of fires in the city. We just don't want to have another big forest fire. Ah, shit. So, for this to work, we need some services over here. We're going to need, like... Wow, look at all the people parked up here. animals Okay, I don't think there's a ranger station, so I think we might have to actually have a police station over here. And possibly also a recycling center. <laughs> That's crazy. It's gonna be an expensive nature park. All right, now we have to go back to the city to actually make some money before we lose everything. We need to find a place to put some more industry where it's not gonna to be too clumped up in there. I guess we can put some over here. connecting it down on the ground rather than going up the mountain.
Oh, that's better. Okay, good. So let's run some electricity up to this area now too. And plumbing, we need a little bit more plumbing. get a little bit of industry in here but not too much hi that <laughs> you should consider creating a forestry industry on your islands with oh, the yeah, amount of I trees have? it would be good oh my god you're right okay we'll do it over here we'll do it over here there are you're right there's a lot of trees holy crap forestry could be crazy said some timber industry we want forest industry here see how that goes I don't think I've ever created forest industry before in my life I look forward to seeing how this works Nice. Could I finally build a trailer park? Um, yeah, kind of actually. I could do it with like, uh, with tents. I could do it with a lot of tents. So not quite trailers. But yeah, we could maybe make a big trailer park in here if you want to. Could be fun. How many people have visited here? None. <laughs> Zero. The entertainment level is huge, though. Wait, we've had nobody? That's impossible. There's people here right now with a dog. What the fuck? Okay. Maybe it just needs some time. Maybe it just needs some time to adjust. Oh, we need some people. That slope is too steep. No, it's already occupied, it says. What the hell? and stuff done. We'll just cram in a bunch of houses here to meet some of this demand finally. And then let's get some commercial um, car. We don't really have any really main roads, do we? I kind of wish I'd just done a grid now, guys. I mean, it's not too late. I could just like come back in and rip it up and make, make it into like a more of a grid, I suppose. Build more stuff. <laughs> Sips, my GF is pregnant. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> wow. You really did it. Is it definitely yours? What if it's the mailman's? Walur's Park is a level 2 park now. What did we unlock in here again? In Walur's Park? 
Oh my god, I'm running out of money fast. We're going under, guys. We're going under big time. I have to take out a loan. Let's take the big one. We're gonna need... One of these bad boys. Just to help top things up. So that we can make some money. We don't have enough workers here. in here too uh, this is a nice map I like this map it's, it's pretty cool it's neat it's neat building on like islands for a change I feel like we should probably do some highway stuff all the same though uh, there's not really anywhere to make highways too though like we'd only need this this one highway and then maybe like another highway coming down into here taking you directly to Jurassic Park Oh, look, these people can't wait to get home. You missed the ferry, Kathleen. You missed it. Where's this guy going? Oh, he works at the police station. Of course. And there's still people here, look. Mary and Edward. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, we're still losing a lot of money. Holy crap. We need some of this timber industry to take off. We need to build some commercial stuff too. Okay, good. Maybe we have gotta start charging people to use Walur's Park. 10 bucks. 10 bucks if you want to use these baths. Wait! Oh, look! People do actually visit the plaza and they walk right through the. Look, they walk through the pond and stuff too. Oh, that's pretty cool. They would have never done that with the horse statue. Never in a million years. Oh. Did you miss my rendition of Jurassic Park? Um, I think I, I think I, I think I sang it. I'm not sure. Whoops! I don't want a road in here. I want. I want some of these. All right, campsite number two is a go. This one's going to have campfire site number two. Which is a little bit more down market. Look, see? This one's for like all the poshos. This one is going to be more like It's a bit more like Glastonbury here. We can't leave him hanging though. Okay, let's put a sign here as well that says... Don't disturb your neighbors, okay? They don't want to talk to you. We'll give them a log pile. Let's put a folding chair here just in case. No, you know what? They don't get a folding chair. We will have to give them an outhouse though. And they 
can have a well for some. <laughs> now you know what. <laughs> what is that noise? Hey, look! Somebody's coming here. Look! Look how small these tents are. Who's this? Bradley Young. Uh, he's a low wealth young adult. <laughs> Hang on. Who's this? He's an uneducated adult. <laughs> what is that noise? Albert Walker is a well educated young adult. Nice. I like how the how the rich people are flocking to their tents and then all the busters are coming to their tents as well. That's nice. We've done a good class divide here, guys. Hope you guys are proud. No. They are all dogging. Yeah, I don't know what that wah song is. Uh, sound is, sorry. It's like the mating call of, um... Of, I don't know, whatever, whatever is making that, that noise. It's a pretty weird one, listen to it. Timberland. Is this stuff kind of working or not even really working at all? We still haven't, re we're still losing money. Okay, there. <laughs> We're in the green. We've done it. I feel like some of these factories look new. Or maybe I just don't spend enough time looking at my industrial areas. You heard there was some whys going on in this stream? Yeah, you want to hear them again? You ready? There you go. <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. leaving all this space because it's hard to fill like these boxes in the middle right with stuff I mean we could run paths and stuff through but I don't know it may be that we end up just ripping all this out and then running the highway directly through here to connect up to here which will probably be like an airport or something if we can ever get the population oh busy town Oil industry, tourism, okay, good. We now have highways and stuff. And, oh, the skate park too is pretty good. The sightseeing bus depot. Oh, now that's gonna be something else. Sightseeing tours, boys. That's gonna be great, right? Are you guys excited about doing a sightseeing tour? Because I sure am. I think that's gonna be fantastic. That's just gonna be great. I think that's gonna be great. Okay. Let's get a fire station in there. Let's get one over here too. Go in there, but the coverage here is still not great, apparently. We might just rip this all out and run a highway through. Mr. Ideas is thinking about the best way to run his highway <laughs> directly through Walur's Park. Walur's Park is in the way of where the highway is going to go. We're going to have to bargain with them. Walur, if a fire starts, the whole town is fucked? I guess so, yeah. 
the parks with the DLC don't seem to um, give land value boosts like the floppable ones do. I think this is from the skate park here and not... See, like, Walur's Park I don't think is giving any land value. But it might if we add more stuff to it. There's been a lot of visitors to Walur's Park. There's some more stuff we can add into it, which might might actually boost it. We could always try that. We've got these park piers. So we've got this, like, chest thing. I think we need to make the park a bit bigger, though. If we want to add some more stuff to it. Specializations. We're going to need another entrance. We're going to have to have another side entrance, and we're going to also have to delete all of these palm trees. Plug your ears! It's going to be loud! fast as I can. Okay, we're almost done. There, you can unplug your ears. Now we're all done. <laughs> There's a dead body. There's a dead body in Walur's Park. If you can believe that. Alright, let's get this fence up. Oh, you could do like bendy fences and stuff too. That's kind of cool. I like the fence all around. That's good, isn't it? That's really good. So we need an entrance like down here as well, I think. So we'll have a small side gate here too. And then a decorated path. can fit some more stuff in here now without losing all of our money hopefully the park chessboard in here restrooms we've got cafe we have do you think it's big enough for the info booth now I can hear dinging so maybe this is actually affecting the, the area around it Recycled plastics thing on. Recycle plastic and recycling as well. And then 
all of our money goes down the drain. But it's worth it for Wellover's Park. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually, it does seem to maybe be affecting the area around. So maybe as it like, maybe as it upgrades in levels, it gives more of a boost. Maybe the more crap you have in here, the better. Maybe that's how it works. I mean, we could, we could make a better park, I'm sure, but. This is fine for now. No. No. I love the, the entrances though, the side entrance and the main gate with the parking and stuff. Look, there's somebody actually parked up here. He's parked up his Italian scooter. What a champ. What a champ. Is the cemetery full? All right, well, there's park again. A cemetery right across the street too. It's not even full, what the hell? There's so many dead bodies. Ah, oh, sorry, we're collecting them now. Who <laughs> parked up his scooter and he died? He may well have parked up his scooter and died, okay? It is possible that that happened. So can we get away with having all of our industry um, wood and, and not dirty? Can we do that? Is that a thing that we're able to do? We can unlock another tile, too. I think maybe we go for this one next. So that we have more room to build out here. And then if we want to adjust the highway at all. We don't need this yet. Because if we're just going to make this into, like, a place for the airport. We can just leave it. Look at all this poo coming out the side here, too. Okay, we'll buy that. So we'll grab this. That. This. And this. And then we'll have like another tile to grab that i guess i don't know if we need that for anything jurassic park maybe we can move on to one of these smaller islands after <laughs> seems like a massive waste of space there, there's been no visitors this week <laughs> apparently but there's st there have been though right there's people visiting it right now look there's people in the tents is it because it's not fenced off or something? Nah, shit. <laughs> Somebody died on Jurassic Park too, as well. We're, we're gonna have to get like a cemetery over there for people who die whilst visiting Jurassic Park. It's not really like the best way to sell your theme park, is it? Welcome to Jurassic Park! And on the left here, we have the cemetery. <laughs> Just in case you die while you're here. Come back soon. Make sure you come back very soon. Guys, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. We're gonna have to have some sort of city center here, right? Eventually. You have to have a little grid or two. Especially if we're gonna have like a built up tourist area. As soon as we as soon as we change the commercial area to tourists, it's gonna be high rises, right? So we're gonna wanna have grids for that. Oh, big town, baby! IT cluster. Ooh, nice! Just in time. Guys, Mr. Idea's got an idea! Mr. Idea has a nice idea! Mr. Idea's thinking up a good idea! Hot air balloons! That 
wasn't the idea, but yeah, fuck, we need to have hot air balloons, don't we? Hot air balloon tours. The hot air balloon tours service stores and maintains hot air balloons and organizes hot air balloon tours over the city. Tours with a high appeal value around the starting point are more popular. Wow. The hot air balloon just went like instantly. <laughs> Traveling right the fuck out of the city as well. And over here we've got a highway. Look down everybody. Look at all of the traffic. Whee! I like that. Oh, it's coming back. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. It's gone. Look. It's just going, it's going to go across the Atlantic Ocean now. How do you do a hot air balloon tour? You do it with this hot air balloon tour. You do it with this thing here. We're going for a, a high appeal value in in the area of Walur's Park, which is currently it's almost at its next level up. Look, it needs just a couple more. Look at how many people are visiting this. There's people visiting the um, the chess park. Oh, that's great. I wonder if people are trying to find out info about the park as well. Who was Walur? And is there a statue of him inside this park? The most asked for thing in Walur's park is when are we going to actually see what Walur looked like? Well, you don't have to wait any longer, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. His Royal Highness Walur now features prominently at the entrance of the park. You can come in, you can leave a cabbage for him to say thanks for blessing you with this park, blessing the city with this big park. And then you can go have a round of chess, or maybe have a hot dog and an ice cream and sit down and put your kids in the sandbox while you do that. Or maybe you just go take a dump. Or maybe you can go to a fancier cafe that isn't just hot dogs and ice cream and has an indoor area too, but costs more. These are all things that you can maybe do. Can we get a lake? Is it possible to get a lake? Even just like a little man-made lake. You know what this park's DLC could have done with, actually? Golf courses, right? Imagine you can make your own golf courses. That would have been pretty cool. Maybe that could come out, like, later. You know what? There's probably, like, a way that they could do it, right? Because you have, like, you have, like, park life, which introduces a whole bunch of, like, park assets and stuff. Um, and then you've got like the tourism specialty and you've got like uh, sightseeing tours and stuff like that But maybe they could do like a, another expansion for like tourism where there's like a whole bunch of like custom hotels that you can put down So you could put down like some golf resorts and stuff like that and like some big fancy hotels and big casinos and, and stuff That'd be pretty cool, but then if you could make a golf course the same way that you could make a park and then add that on to like a resort or something. That'd be kind of cool actually. No. So much shit water. Yeah, there's a lot, isn't there? We have to get the uh, the cleaner shit pumps eventually. A tourism expansion is definitely needed. I think it'd be pretty fun. I mean, mo most of the expansions so far have been pretty good pretty fun this one especially is quite good I love all this park stuff it's really good it's nice to um, to be able to make a park that isn't just a, a ploppable right Because the ploppables in the end you just end up plopping them anywhere and they don't look that great but this one you can get benefits from you can make money from it and stuff as well you can customize it and make it look really good or really shit like mine if you want 
It's pretty nice. Um, so Mr. Ideas before was coming up with a big idea, everybody. And Mr. Ideas' big idea was maybe instead of this ferry terminal, maybe we could, like, have blimp rides over to Jurassic Park. Because, like, especially some of the guys staying in these tents here, I think they would appreciate that. They got a lot of money to burn, right? Let's put some kayaks out here for them, too. Just in case. Just in case they feel the need to go for a little kayak. And let's also give them a water well, too. There. Good. Perfect. I love these tents. <laughs> They're so good. They really are so good. <laughs> we could make like a big like internment camp. We could make a huge internment camp <laughs> with like some of these tents. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Why not? We're, <laughs> we're doing it. We're, we're doing it, chat. Don't even try to convince me otherwise. Look, this is where all the hard labor is going to take place. Right in here. Okay, let's just make sure that we can fit. Oh, hang on, it's too close. Hang on. Let's just make sure that... I think like that's pretty good. Okay, it's either gonna be like an internment camp or it's gonna be like a, like the invasion staging point for the Roman Legion. These cost these, these tents cost two hundred bucks a pop, you know. Fucking two hundred bucks a pop. Sipsy sips. Yeah. Can you name something cool, Lugna, in your city? Lots of love kisses and hugs. <laughs> Do you want an internment camp? <laughs> oh my god. I like all like the different color <laughs> foldable chairs. That's really good. Fuck it, let's keep going. Mr. Ideas has had an idea. We have to make it happen. I play games. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks great. Okay, so imagine this, but like all the way up. We can even get fancy. Like we can make like... Look, I've got an idea, guys. I've got a really good idea, okay? And when I say really good, I of course mean probably not the best idea but trust me on this okay look let's get rid of these tents here so that we can have a connector go up like this okay and then we're gonna need another one like here should be enough room oh hang on It's a bit big, actually. Okay, like that. Okay. So hang- so check this out, okay? It'll lead up to, like, this, like, sort of middle point. Let me, like, unsnap the grids here. It's gonna lead up to this, like, middle point, right? But then in here, we're gonna have the one thing everybody in the internment camp so desperately needs. Okay. And then, hold on a second. Look. 
we have like another oh hang on okay okay nice okay so that can go out like that so that'll go out like that and then we'll connect up some more like this right so we're just gonna have like just a ton of a ton of tents okay and then in the middle here hang on a second we'll have let's have a big sign here that says it'll just on it it'll have one simple word it'll say nine and then one outhouse perfect perfect okay and then also a couple of canoes and a chair for the guy who has to guard the outhouse Back to placing tents, shall we? I think these tents are the ones that look the best. Keep it down. Stop it. Oh god, this is gonna take a long time. It's going to be a very costly endeavor as well. Maybe this can just be like our pet project on the side that we can just come back to every once in a while when I actually feel like individually plopping tents. I don't think there's like an easier way of plopping these tents. <laughs> My god. What? Use move it. Oh, we're not we're not using mods. Not a single one, baby. We did all that in San Fran. And it was the whole game came to like a grinding halt in the end at 150k pop. What do like, you call an owl with a sore throat? A bird that doesn't give a hoot. Thanks for the entertainment, Sips. Hey, thanks very much for the joke, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rob that booty. Good to see you, man. Thanks so much. Okay. Good. Oh. Almost messed it up. <laughs> Wait. Are there people? There are. <laughs> Look. There's a couple of people here with their dogs. Oh. And this is... This is really something else, isn't it? Is there any way that we can, like, sort of gussy the place up a little bit? Nicer. That'll be good. Oh, these have to be on the road. Okay, never mind. Never mind that. What's this? Oh, this is the side gate. Oh, yeah, nice side gate. Okay, some of this stuff will be pretty good when we actually unlock it. It'll be good. Put some lights in here too, 
just in case anybody feels like they might want to fall, <laughs> fall asleep while they're relaxing in their camp. Oh, that's great. That's really good. All right, perfect. Okay, we'll come back to Jurassic Park in a bit. Let's just check on the rest of the city and see how things are going at Wallowers Park. Oh! Whoa! Entertainment until next level. We just need a little bit more entertainment inside Wallowers Park. What else can we add in here? What? What? No. <laughs> just, just, yeah, it's a fence just to keep the guests secure. Of course it is. What else would you need a fence for there? Okay. Entertainment value to me is definitely another ice cream van. You can never have too many of these things, right? There we go. Entertainment value has skyrocketed, right? All of a sudden? Or not really. The following buildings have been unlocked. A gazebo and a gazebo too. It's a level 3 park now. Very exciting. There, look. We made a cotton candy fence for the ice cream truck. That's fine, right? Okay, let's check out these gazebos. Oh shit, there's still another one. Oh yeah, the climbing frame. A trampoline park? God damn. Okay, where do we want to put this little gazebo? Poopy G scoop scoop diddy whoop whoop dee scoop dee poop poop dee scoop dee scoop dee whoop whoopity scoop whoop poop poop diddy whoop scoop poop poop scoop diddy whoop whoop diddy scoop whoop diddy scoop boop. This is the first Sips stream I have watched and what do I see? Adolf Sipsler making <laughs> some sort of concentration camp. <laughs> My wife tried to claim she was a night owl. She was lying though, because when I tried to turn her head through 270 degrees, her yeah. neck snapped. Oh. <laughs> Poopy scoop. <laughs> I can't. Oh, that really tickled me. Oh, thanks, Sinstress. Oh, goddamn. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks also, um, Dallas N08 and Robert That Booty. Thanks very much for the donations as well. I appreciate it. How do we? We've got a lot of money all of a sudden, and we're making a lot of money too. I wonder how much money Jurassic Park is making right now. Still no visitors. It's had zero. <laughs> Zero visitors this week. Maybe we need to do an advertisement campaign and attract some people over here. Look. No, look, there's tons of people turning up here, most of them with dogs. There's actually quite a bit of foot traffic inside Jurassic Park right now. It's fun. Oh shit, we still haven't made a zoo yet. We'll have to make a zoo pretty soon, I think. Down and down and down and why did the do 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 do? Here we go, baby. 
let's do it. Let's get some some dense residential. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Incredible. It's incredible. All right, what else could we possibly add to Weatherworth Park to make it better? Probably nothing, right? It's already perfect. I mean, maybe we could put some more paths. Oh, God. That scoop, scoop, scoop to poop was, um, was too much for me. Very good, Sinstress. You got me. You got me good. I feel like... While Lewis Park is sort of like, uh, uh, let's just see what is in the expansion and let's add Live stuff. Live from the San Francisco right? newsroom. Right? Mayor Sips flees to island town as entire city grinds to a halt. Inside reports suggest he has set up some form of slave concentration camp disguised as a dinosaur themed nature park. Never. More information at 10. You can't, look, you can't really see it because the, these rocks are in the way. You can't really see because the rocks are in the way. But yeah, I mean, kind of right. I wonder what this looks like at night. Let's see. Put the day-night cycle on for a bit, shall we? Here's a hot tip. If you make a one-way train to your concentration camp, you can pump a lot more people in. You right. may want to tattoo them though to keep track of them. Also, uh, they may need several fences for their own safety. It's not a Mr. concentration Ideal, final camp. Solution. It's a Jurassic Park nature reserve for Christ's sake. But yes, I agree. A train taking you here and making it one way would force people to come and visit here because we need the tourism income. It's not a it's not a concentration camp for Christ's sake. Uh oh. Oh no. Hang on a second. No. No. Oh, balls. We went in too tight, guys. We went in a little too tight. This is gonna have ramifications. This is gonna have some serious ramifications. I'm surprised those other ones fit, actually. Oh, man. God damn, that looks spooky, doesn't it? Hang on, I think we need some lights in here, too. In the forbidden area. Oh, that looks nice. I like the lighting. Oh, look at the campfires, too. Oh, that's cool. Why well, does the rest of the city look at night? Let's go see what Wellowers Park looks like. Oh, nice. It's all lit up. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. Maybe you could get some cooler lights in here, too. More tips for your concentration camper, I mean wilderness camp. You may want to put down a coal generator for power and a big pit for dumping things in. You know what kind of things. Mr. Idea's final solution. Okay. 
We're gonna light Wailuers up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> wow, Wailuers. What a handsome man. God damn. Hey, thanks uh, very much, Cad, for uh, for the donations, Physex. Thanks very much as well. Appreciate it. That's really good. Those are some. Those are some. Some good ideas that we'll use for our nature retreat that we've called Jurassic Park in this beautiful, beautiful game. Let's see if these other tents will fit here now. We're in business, boys. There's not that many visitors. I mean, there's a couple, but there could be way more, right? I mean, we joke, but this is what Center Parks is like. Have you ever been to Center Parks before? I'm basically making Center Parks right now. What kind of suburban hell have I created? It's not... It's a nature reserve. We created a nature reserve actually, thanks very much. Hi Sips, this Hi is there. Mr. City's Skylines from Paradox himself. <laughs> I tuned in to see how you were demoing <laughs> our exclusive preview on Park Life. And what yeah. do I find? What? Concentration camps. <laughs> it's and you not! Are turning into Nazis yelling heel Sipsler. No more previews for you, big boy. <laughs> it's wow. not! It's not even! We're just trying to get this... It, we're trying to get it upgraded. It's only one star. Look, we have an advertisement campaign and everything. No visitors! We've had no visitors. I know what we can do, though. I know what we can do. Oh shit, looks like there's a dead body at the gate here. I don't think you can place these on the paths. We might actually need a road that comes into here. Oh yeah, I forgot about the day, the day night site. Oh shit, we're out of um, we're out of juice again. <laughs> oh, we could build a solar updraft tower though, which would help us out a lot. These things are fantastic. How much does this make? Eighty. There might be some room for it over here. We could make like a road on here or something. We might be able to put it on the island here. Connect it up that way. But we could have like an island devoted to power. Call it Power Island. The slope is too steep around there apparently. But I need a volcano. But a volcano. That's a good idea. The volcano's a fantastic idea. Alright, that should be all of our power problems solved for now. Oh, look at the turbines, the lights at night. They look nice. And look at the highway at night, too. 